All right, so bear with me. Um, people have been doing this kind of stuff on YouTube for a little while with the Rad Runners. And um, I, I guess I tried something a little bit new and I uh, wanted to share um, for all my Reddit friends and all that stuff. So as you can see, I kind of went a little crazy with the motors um, in trying to upgrade the Rad Runner Plus to the 750 watt motor, which was gonna be this guy here. seen a lot of videos on big game bikes or citizen cycle um, where they swapped this one for the stock motor on the rad runners unfortunately for the rad runner plus the new batch that has come out um, this doesn't work um, the housing is on this side right so you can pull out the motor from this side which is the rotor side <coughs> which means that the bike is going to want to spin that way. <coughs> Let's see if I can kind of explain that better. <coughs> so if you guys all know, pretend your wheel is here. You're gonna wanna leave the wheel, the housing intact in the wheel because you don't wanna relace the spokes, right? You pull out the housing. Uh, from your stock motor, and then you put in the new one, right? And that's the upgrade that everybody's been saying. But on the Rad Runner, um, the housing is on this side, whereas <coughs> on well, actually, this is the same thing. Um, you see how the direction goes that way? If you flip the 750 to where you get the housing on the side you need it. The uh, 750 is going to go backwards. So my take is that on the Rad, I guess the Rad Runner, not the Plus, or the older models, the motor is like this, and you can pop out your your cassette, whatever, from the housing on this side. You can do that on the Rad Runner Plus. So it's going to go backwards. It's not going to work. <coughs> so. After some YouTubing, I found well, maybe it's after some YouTubing, I found this guy who excuse me thousand watt. This one does spin in the right direction. that there if you line it up with the stock motor you can pull the cassette straight out put it back in and you're good to go um, as you can see we had some trial and error here um, but this one this thousand watt motor from Unirau Unirau that works that works on the Rad Runner Plus okay so I guess just to clarify because this is probably gonna turn out to be a terrible video but I'll try my best <clears throat> thousand watt motor from Bafang that works with the Rad Runner Plus. Okay, first in comparison, and then last is my stock motor, which I have not damaged yet, and I don't want to. So, um, this housing is just the extra thousand watt housing. Because I ended up buying two of them. Um, okay. So for comparison, uh, 500 watt, 750 watt, 1000 watt. Now, the issue I had when uh, I picked up the 1000 watt the first time, which is why I ended up trying to mess with it too much, um, they look the same. But you'll find that the motor itself <clears throat> is a lot more dense, 
right? So if you look in there, we're talking less than a fingertip, right? The 500 watt motor, oh, you know, almost double of the empty space in that motor. <clears throat> and then even the 750 watt, I know that the videos were super impressive when um, you lined them up and you saw that this one was so small and this one was so big. I thought that would be a wonderful upgrade, but this thing could pretty much put my whole finger in there, you know? Um, so just for sum it all up, this does not work on the Rad Runner Plus. Uh, I believe it still works on the Rad Runners and Rad Minis and things like that. I'm not sure. But for the Rad Runner Plus that I received maybe a month ago, this one does not work. This is the stock. This is a good example. The stock motor pulls out from the rotor side. The rotor should be here. Whereas on the other bikes, it has pulled out on the free wheel side, which is, you'll see those videos, the guys have to remove the free wheel. They have to use that funky tool. And uh, they pull it out from this side. Sorry, I got um, disconnected there. Um, I'll try my best to clip this together so that everybody can understand. Um, so, in summation, 1000 watt looks like the best option for a Rad Runner Plus. 750 is the alternative i guess for every other bike um i don't know what they're doing on the new batches of the new deliveries of stuff but um this one is tested and it works it ended up working after i did all this so i have another one that's installed on the bike as we speak um and this is the stock which i'm going to keep of course just in case um but this is what the 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 stock motor on the thousand watt on the Rider Run Plus looks like cables on the rotor side. So um, when you try to do that motor swap with the 750, right? This is the 750 and this is the Rider Runner. If you try to do the motor swap with the stock motor, you end up with rotor and rotor. And that doesn't work. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful to somebody as I sure know, as you can see that I went through it here. Um, but yeah, sounds good.